All right, everyone, Michael Baden has come out and said, hey, you know, Jeffrey Epstein was probably killed because the uh, autopsy, you know, results that I saw, and he was literally in the room during the autopsy, so, you know, who am I to question him? He, former state pathologist for New York uh, was actually present there looking at them dissect uh, Epstein's dead corpse. I'm going to generally trust what he says over what I read on Salon. He's saying that according to what he saw, some of the bones having been broken the way that they were, that he thinks it's more likely that Epstein was murdered. And he comes out and he points out, <laughs> talk about stating the obvious. This is what I was saying and others were saying immediately in the aftermath. The idea that everything coincidentally lined up the way the official report goes, that Epstein managed to kill himself by essentially somersaulting off a three-foot edge with toilet paper around his neck, while the cameras outside of his cell just magically were turned off that day and the guards magically fell asleep, one of them not even technically being a guard, the fact that his cellmate that was supposed to be there wasn't there, the fact that he was just taken off suicide watch mere hours before, it would make no sense that that many things would coincidentally line up. Now, Herman Cain's take on it, actually, now, and keep in mind who Herman Cain is. Not exactly a likable individual. Didn't he have like five or six assault allegations against him, I think? He was the pizza uh, candidate, uh, you know, long ago. I'm not a big fan of him, but his take on it is fundamentally true. The best case scenario here is that gross negligence was allowed in order to allow Epstein to off himself. That nobody around him followed protocol because they just didn't give a fuck. Hey, you know, we've got this, you know, serial child molester in here. Just let him kill himself. There's, you know, due process aside, even someone like Jeffrey Epstein should get due process. If only to drag him through court long enough for him to be fucking miserable till he dies. Should have done that. Unfortunately, he gets a quick death, which is more than you can say for his various thousands of victims, which probably numbers in the thousands. Most of them are probably in shallow graves, either on the U.S. border or somewhere on his island, but I doubt they'll allow archaeological teams anytime soon. The worst part is thinking, if there is an Epstein out there, there might be someone who's arguably worse. You know, who caters to the other side of the world and their royals and nobles when they want to have a weird sex party? Who caters to them? Look into where, where's Putin going on his vacations? He's probably a weirdo too. Anyway, I've, from day one, even people on the left, to their credit, have said the official report showing suicide is screwy. It literally makes no sense. It stretches the mind beyond reasonable bounds to speculate how he could have committed suicide because too many coincidences had to line up. You're expecting me to believe that, that the people involved were so negligent and so reckless that they didn't care to bring real justice, an actual final criminal proceeding against a, a man who did the things that Epstein supposedly did for a number of decades. Arguably the most prolific human trafficking case in U.S. history, and you just let him kill himself. Well, he could have had valuable information on literally thousands of possible perps. He could he could have I mean, I mean he could have a secret ledger under some rock in the island that has all the real skinny on exactly who did what. He could have been keeping blackmail lists. Hell, that's probably why he's dead. It's funny because people have all sorts of images, that, uh, like of the Clintons with the Groucho Marx glasses, the, the last visitors to Epstein before he killed himself. No, I don't think that he killed himself at all. I think that he was strangled and killed. He had been assaulted not long before. Didn't he get, like, uh, assaulted and, and arguably sexually violated, like, a month before that? It's not like anyone cares if he gets assaulted, but, I mean, if you want justice to be served, you need him to talk. You need him to tell all. You need him to spill the beans. Well, fucking drag him through the motions and make him sick and weak and enfeebled so that you can get as much info out of him as possible. That's that They do this all the time to people. Sometimes it's just abuse, and sometimes they're being dishonest by doing so. In Epstein's case, it's kind of obvious that he done it. It's just a matter of trying to get him to cop a plea deal. Of course, in his case, any plea deal would basically be, we won't throw you in general population. Yeah, you're not going to get out, but, you know, you probably won't get assaulted every other day. That's about as good as we can give you. It will let you have a stack of money to pretend that you're still rich and we haven't confiscated it all. That's what they could have done for him. Now all you got to do is tell us, you know, where's the piece of paper showing the Clintons engaged in, in terrible acts? It's what they should have done. I believe this uh, particular pathologist completely is qualified. 
He doesn't have a track record of saying weird things. He was actually there. He's, he's imminently accredited. He was the former <laughs> pathologist for the state of New York. I think that's pretty good. Uh, doesn't appear to have particularly a political axe to grind and, and really doesn't benefit anything from this. What's he going to do, write a book on the subject? No, and he was only in the room for the autopsy. He's not going to be able to do that. I guess he can do the talk show circuit or something. But ultimately, I mean, I, I've got that or I can believe the official report. But the official report is bullshit. It's clearly bullshit. At the very least, there was complete negligence. At worst, it was an assassination to try to cover to cover someone else's ass. And it could. The problem is there are so many potential people who could have been responsible. It's not just the Clintons. We talk about hashtag Clinton crime family. Okay, that's that's funny, but there are so many other people that are on the flight logs. It could have been any of these people. And what I've said is also. And this is ominous. What if it's someone else that's not on the flight logs? What if it's someone who's, who's worried that there are other logs and they don't want him uncovered? They don't want him speaking because they, they were in, him, in with him as an actual friend and they're like, well, shit, he's going to give my name up as part of a plea deal or something. I got to get rid of him. Hide the evidence because, you know, I'm not in the flight logs, but I was at his island or at his ranch or at, I think he had a castle or some other third property that he <laughs> used to abuse people at. Uh, it could easily be someone whose name isn't even there. You know, it probably would be. It probably isn't the Clintons. It's probably some Clinton cohort. That's the ironic part about it. That's about all. Peace out. <laughs>